Well, everyone, Apple Arcade is one of those subscription platforms that Apple has made, and it basically gives you a certain type of layout of essentially games that you can play on your iPhone or iPad, or even Mac products. And these are like no like advertisement, no in-app purchase types of games. They're just, you know, what you see is what you get. And what they kind of subscribe to you is unlimited access to 200 plus incredibly fun games with more added all the time. You can play across your different Apple devices. You can even play on your Apple Vision Pro. They advertise no ads, no interruptions, and no in-app purchases. So that's kind of the big subscription model thing that they're going here is that you're paying a monthly fee and you're getting no ads, no interruptions, and no in-app purchases. You can play these games online or offline, which is great. And you can share your subscription up to five family members. Now, this is how the subscription model kind of breaks down to. And I probably wouldn't even recommend just purchasing it out outright. So there's a free one month trial, but it's $6.99 per month. So just that in and of itself, I would kind of say is kind of like a not that great of a subscription plan, especially if you're only getting like 200 plus things that you can kind of do. Within Apple One though, it is included, which makes a lot more sense for me. If you're already going to go and get a subscription model, going down the Apple One route probably makes a lot more sense in my personal opinion. Now you can go onto their apple.com, you know, Apple Arcade website and kind of get a glimpse of all the games that are available. It's hard for me to talk about every single one. There's like over 200, but I will say there's some good stuff. Apple did actually, you know, recently kind of, not recently, but they've been adding games throughout last couple of months and years that this thing has been out so i think that's a really cool thing that they've been doing they've also had this uh, this like sonic dream team game that just came out too which is kind of crazy but the thing you have to remember with this particular subscription model is that it really is going to be focused on the games that you want to see and that you want to play if there's a specific game that you know you want to play that's on the app store it necessarily doesn't mean that it's going to be on apple arcade i think sometimes people think that if you subscribe to this that all the games and apps that you go ahead and get on your app store are going to be subscription free and they're not going to like have a you know a no ad, like ads or anything like that that is not the case you're really paying that seven dollars a month or whatever for basically this particular for like the 200 and plus games that are available so that's how i kind of look at that particular 699 model and i don't really think that's a great idea in my personal opinion whereas you can buy something like apple one and within Apple One, it makes a lot more sense. The reason being is that you get like everything within Apple One. You get iCloud Plus, Apple Arcade, Apple Music, Apple TV Plus, all these things, basically for a lot cheaper than doing these things separately. So if you get, a, you know, the base model for $20 a month, basically $19.95, you're getting Apple Arcade, Apple Music, Apple TV Plus, and iCloud Plus. And if you're going to go down that route, then that makes more sense. In my personal opinion, it makes more sense to spend more money to get Apple One and get all those things rather than just paying, you know, paying $7 a month for Apple Arcade, in my personal opinion. Now, the games themselves, I think, are really interesting. They look like they're fairly good games. However, there's nothing within Apple Arcade that I've seen or I've heard people talk about that is like a mind-boggling game that you need to go ahead and like play. I feel like even on the App Store nowadays, it's like a little bit of a different story as well. All these games are like riddled with in-app purchases, so it gets a little bit more difficult when you're going to go through and like have developers specifically make games for Apple Arcade. And that's kind of the problem with Apple Arcade too, is that you have to wait until the developers make the games, Apple approves the games, then they work with Apple to go and put it on Apple Arcade. There's, I'm sure there's like this huge thing and like these huge hurdles to jump that are even harder to do than even just putting a standard game inside of your Apple App Store. So I think that's one side of the things too. I played a couple of these games before and I definitely will say like they're super nice and super fun, but I don't think personally I would pay $7 a month just to play those particular games. I think they're good. I think they're fun and you know, and everything like that, but I wouldn't pay $7 a month just to play those particular games. I, on the other hand, would probably pay $20 a month to get Apple Arcade included inside of the Apple One, you know, subscription model. So it's kind of funny because it's like, well, you're spending more money doing that. But that in my head makes a lot more sense to go down that direction than buying something like Apple Arcade separately. So in terms of that, that probably kind of covers it up here. I probably wouldn't recommend buying it. But if you want to get it within Apple One and it's kind of included inside of your subscription model. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.